I had breakfast this morning with a friend of mine that's from California and he's here visiting for three weeks. He happens to live across the street from me and he told me that he's leaving tomorrow, going back home. And I asked him about his bread maker and he told me that he would let me borrow his bread maker while he's back in the States. I told him I'd keep it nice, safe and sound for him. So, of course, I don't know how to make bread, not even with an automatic bread maker. So I decided to uh, to make one today. I asked Mark if you know, we could make a, a loaf and that's what we did. And as soon as we come back, I'll show you what we did. Hey! Oh, rock a chick. Right, uh, hello there. So we're looking at all the ingredients here. Except for it's flour. It's not any different than it is in the United States, really. But the only problem that I have with my bread making experience in the United States is that I tried it three or four times and I never was happy with it. Well, you know, here's your problem. You got to use metric flour. Metric flour. Yeah, because we're not on the American system. So you buy metric flour. But I didn't have metric flour in the United States. It's it's metric flour. It's, metric. It's better. You're talking about the measurement metric? No. No, it's metric flour. You know the, you know the difference between... There he is, folks. Listen to what he's saying. The difference between automatic and manual flour. Yeah. How are you spelling metric? M-E-T-R-I-C? Yeah, metric, yeah. That's a measurement. Yeah. Okay, all right. So, in, in metric flour is as opposed to imperial flour. Okay, do you buy recycled flour? No. Okay. Uh, I probably could here. <laughs> okay, so this is a bread machine. Yeah, let me get, let me get over here. I brought it from the United States because it's in English, but they make yeah. bread machines at the mall. It's yeah. super simple. I think this is a Hamilton Beach, but any bread machine will work. Yeah. So you got this. And that thing right there in the bottom there, that's the paddle. That stays in there all the time, right? It comes out, but it's stuck. I can't get mine out, oh. so I just leave it in there. But it's when fine. you're making the bread, it definitely stays in there throughout the whole process, right? Correct, yeah. So you can actually take this out. Sometimes I use a, uh, a scale if you want yeah. to weigh by grams, but this uses good old-fashioned cups. Yeah, there you go. Okay. And so, I mean, I know one thing. Measurements is critical, right? In, I mean, can in, we get rid of the fly swatter? Sure. <laughs> For some reason, a fly swatter. It's it's in Ecuador. The kitchen. It's it's Ecuador in the some winter time, so you're okay. gonna have you're gonna have some flies. Yeah. Okay. Um, in this case, usually. They're critical, but for this recipe, they're not. Yeah. This is a simple, simple recipe. Right. We've made it probably 500 times. This is what I had, right? Which yeah, you... it's very simple. Yeah. Okay, so the main thing is you have to put in um, wet ingredients first. Okay. And so I always do, okay, and here's what I need. A cup measurement, a tablespoon, yeah. and a half teaspoon. That's okay. all you need. And then I usually have paper towel, but I'm out of paper towel, sure. so we've got napkins. Sure. By the way, in Ecuador, this is the largest napkin you will ever see in your life. My, <laughs> my sister flew back I to know. the States. She got to the airport, and she paid $22 for a chicken salad at the airport. But she said, but the napkins were enormous. It yeah, they were definitely like worth $24. <laughs> they don't like napkins here. So no, they so don't. Okay, so here's what we're going to do four tablespoons of oil okay. and you can use any type of oil like uh, vegetable oil is fine but now does it make any difference i mean no okay three you want to use an oil that doesn't have taste to it i wouldn't use olive oil but you can okay. use um what about avocado oil that would work be fine have you tried it uh no because it's usually more expensive yeah uh, with your kind of money and i'm cheap Oh, I one, forgot about that part. One cup of water, filtered water here. Yeah. Filtered water. Not the good old Manta, the street water. It does get baked, so yeah. it'll probably be fine. This is why I need that napkin, because then you have to, unless you have an extra measuring cup, you've got yeah. to dry this out, and then you've got to, um, you've got to dry this guy out. Yeah. So the, I see you have your yeast sitting there. I do. 
Uh, but you brought that from the states. Though, I did, right? but any yeast is fine. Um, there's two types of yeast. There's uh, fast rising yeast and there's regular active dry yeast. The difference is fast rising yeast is the same thing but smaller. Yeah. It's kind of like the difference between regular oats and instant oats is you could take regular oats and put them in your blender or in your food processor and they become instant oats by making right. them smaller. Yeah. Okay, so we've got a cup of oil, a cup of water, four tablespoons of oil, and now the flour. This part's very forgiving. When Donna makes it, she she measures the the flour out exactly and and mm -hmm. levels it off. Um, I am just generally just throw it I out. don't care. Three three cups. I if mean, you, if you want a little smaller loaf, you're gonna go a little bit less on the flour. You don't sift the flour. No. Nah. Would it make any difference if you did? Uh, it, I mean, God, I've seen that on other YouTube videos where they have a sip, you know. The yeah, you, you can, but this thing. is a super forgiving recipe. If you really want to be accurate, you'll use grams and you'll measure yeah. it. And, and so some yeah. of the stuff I do, but this not super important. Yeah. There's six ingredients. We put in three. Um, we're into the dry ingredients and now we, we're moving on to the salt. So it's three half teaspoons or a teaspoon and a half of- That's just regular table salt? Just regular salt. One, okay. two, three. Some people think that if the salt touches the yeast, it'll kill the yeast. That's a myth. I've okay. tried it. It's no big deal. All right. Four tablespoons of sugar. Um, okay. Regular, this sugar is much more gr uh, bigger, like, yeah, bigger grains than we have in the States. It works fine. Okay. Four of these, two, three, Four. Did I say four tablespoons of oil or three? It's it's three. I think you said three. Yeah, three is right. Okay, and then lastly, five half teaspoons of yeast, which is a two, uh, two and a half, no, five half teaspoons, two and a half teaspoons of yeast, okay. which is basically a packet. If you buy packets, one packet. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna do five of these. Two, three, four, five. That's it. All right. Now, the, the hard part, we're gonna push a button. Oh, geez. Well, technically, we're gonna push a couple buttons. So normally, I just leave this in here, but it was easier to show you. So, yeah. there you go. Okay, so we close it. Uh, we leave it on cycle one, which is just basic bread. Yeah. Uh, we change the crust to light crust because we want a, a sandwich bread. Yeah. And the loaf size, I change, there's a, one and a half or two pound loaf. I put it on a one and a half pound loaf so it bakes for two hours and 53 minutes. Hit start, come back in two hours and 53 minutes and you'll have piping hot bread. Okay, so that's what we'll do. I'll come back later on and we will see what exactly we have. So from Mark Burgraff's Kitchen in Monte Ecuador, we'll be back. Okay, all right, so now we're ready to, we're back, and there is a penny slope there. I'm going to hit stop. It goes so you, you had it on warm? It automatically, once it finishes, it goes on to warm, and it stays uh, warm for an hour, and then it shuts off. So I'm going to get a couple of, what do you call these things? Oven mitts here. Yeah. Otherwise, I'll burn myself. Yeah, because I mean, I bet that thing... It gets pretty hot. It's very hot. <laughs> I wonder what the temperature is that it bakes at. Is it like 350? I have no idea. Yeah. It's all automated. I would bake at 350 normally. Here's the hard part though. It's going to be a little bit hard to get out. No, not too bad. Yeah. So then you take it. Oh, that's not bad. So it's got that little hole in the bottom. Yeah. What a perfect looking piece of, piece of bread. Look at that. <laughs> Loaf of bread. Oh. It's a tall one. This is the best part. Check this out. You see that? Yeah. You gotta be careful so you don't burn yourself, but. Well, why do you have to do it while it's hot? Because it's good when it's hot. Oh. Here, watch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the best part. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Does, does it always have that on there? Um, usually. Yeah. There's always a piece. No one's ever tasted it but me. Yeah. Is it hot? That is hot. I can feel it. You'll see it's hot because we're going to put some butter on it here. Okay. I got some mantequilla for you. Mantequilla. And this is Noah's mantequilla for vegans. No, 
For what? Oh, for vegans? Yeah. It's not as good. The vegan butter yeah, in Ecuador is, no, can't, there's no way. is not that good. <laughs> but it's all right. Okay, so we're going to cut a piece. All right. That's, oops. I didn't put these in right. I wasn't supposed to have them. <laughs> Take two. Yeah. That's all right. Let's see. That's better. Okay. Is that a battery operated? No, it's no, uh, it's, it's uh, God, it's for cutting. They, I wonder if they make a battery operated one. Maybe. I'd be surprised if they didn't. Okay, one for you. I'd be really surprised if they didn't. Okay, so we'll take Don's piece here. Look at that. Yeah, look at that steam coming off there. Ooh. Now, the moment oh, of truth. Oh, yeah. We'll take a piece of Montaquilla. That's a big slice of bread, isn't it? Yeah. I'm, Can you make it smaller if you, you want to, or yeah, what? Yeah, that recipe I told you, it's very forgiving. So if you uh, put a little less flour in it, you can make it about half this size. Okay. Everything else stays just about the same. I mean, you can you can mess it up. Yeah. And it'll it'll taste fine. Yeah, because the the loaf that you gave me last week didn't fit in the I toaster. Had, I couldn't get them in the toaster. Yeah. I had yeah, them. I cut them in half. Yeah, that's what I end up doing. Somehow, when Donna makes them, they're not as high. She must use less flour than I do. Yeah. All right, that's yours. All right. Cool. And now we'll make one for me. And we'll try it out on the. Can we go out on the balcony? Yeah. That's the whole point of that's being a an big hunk of bread. <laughs> yeah. This there's nothing like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich yeah. with this fresh baked bread. Well, I'll tell you what's even better is a grilled cheese sandwich. Yeah. Yeah. Donna makes a great grilled cheese. How is it? Oh, good. Cool. We'll yep, yeah, yeah, real good. We'll let the rest cool. Here, we'll just leave this. Mm. Let's go outside. Mm. All right, here we go. A little short tour of Martin Burgrass apartment for all those of you that are curious. Little nice little condo here in Monta. Go. Oh my god, hot heat and humidity. It's pretty humid, yeah. It's a private beach in May. Yeah. Alright, how is it? Nice. Came out perfect, huh? Every yep. time. Yep. All right. That's it. So that's it. We had fun. It was, it was an easy thing in the world to do. I've, I've never seen. That's the first time I've actually had or seen any success at actually making a loaf of bread. I tried a bread maker back home and I couldn't make it work right. I, could, I hated the bread that it made. I'm sure it had everything in the world to do with the ingredients. And probably most of the time, probably because I was just too drunk to even know what I was doing and screwed it all up every time I tried to make a loaf. So anyway, we made, we made a loaf and I get to bring it home. I brought back, we cut off what we ate and tonight I'm going to have grilled cheese sandwich and it's a big old loaf of bread. It's nice and light. So I hope you enjoyed it. See you on the next one. Okay. Ciao, ciao.